sitting to the left of me that boots us. Muscatine City Council, please come to order. We'll start this evening with a roll call by Fran Donaldson. Ms. Lorette. Present. Fitzgerald. Present. Natvig. Present. Shahadi. Present. Bynum. Present. Roby. Present. Lang. Present. All present, Your Honor. Thank you very much, Fran. Will you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much for joining us in council chambers this evening, ladies and gentlemen. If there's anyone in our audience who would like to speak with council tonight, please do so. And I, I would say speak to council about an item that is not on tonight's agenda. Would you please do so at this time? There's no one who wishes to speak to council. We'll move on. <clears throat> Is there a motion to approve the minutes for the city council meeting of November 3, 2011, and be the in-depth meeting of November 10, 2011? So moved, General. Approved by Osama. Second. Second by Mark. Discussion? Those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. Is there a motion to approve tonight's consent agenda, which includes items A, 8A, 12A through C, and tonight's bills? Moved, Your Honor. Moved by Jerry. Second, Your Honor. Second by Scott. Discussion? Those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries 7 0. Under petitions and communications, is a presented for city council's consideration is a request for the use of for the use of city property for the holiday stroll on Friday, December 2, 2011, from 4 to 10 p.m. The location of the event will be on 2nd Street from Mulberry Avenue to Pine Street. It will include carriage rides and a lighted parade. City staff has reviewed the request and is recommending its approval. Is there a motion to approve the request as submitted? So move, Your Honor. Moved by Bob Bynum. Second. Second by Diane. Diane. I don't care. Discussion? Those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. That motion carries 7-0. From the mayor's section is a proclamation declaring November 2011 as a national hospice and oh boy this one is one new one to me Franny. Palliative, Palliative. 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 Care Month. Is there a motion to adopt the proclamation as submitted? So moved, Your Honor. <clears throat> moved by Scott. Mm -hmm. Second, Your Honor. Second by Phil. Discussion? Those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed aye. nay. Motion carries 7-0. Presented for city council's consideration is a resolution releasing a real, a real estate mortgage under the 2006 for 209 Grover Street. The property owner received a maximum $24,999 in funding assistance through the five-year forgivable loan. The project was completed on July 29, 2008. The property owner wishes to sell the property. Three full years of the loan have been forgiven at this time. The remaining 40% of the loan, or $9,999.60, is to be paid prior to City Council taking action to release the mortgage. Is there a motion to adopt the resolution as submitted? So move, Your Honor. Moved by Diane. Second, Your Honor. Second uh, by Phil. Discussion. Uh, Your Honor. Yes. <clears throat> Just the fact that uh, 
when people take out these five-year forgivable loans, the expectation is, I would think, that they live there five years to, uh, because of the forgivable loan. I understand they're rebating the last couple of years, but obviously what they've done during those three years uh, will probably increase the price that they will get for the house. So I really think they ought to stay there for five years, but it's just my opinion. Okay, fine. Any further comment, Council? All right, Diane? Aye. Phil? Aye. Jerry? Aye. Bob Bynum? Aye. Osama? Aye. Scott? Aye. And Mark? Aye. That motion carries 7 0. <coughs> Presented for City Council's consideration is a resolution amending the accepted completed work performed under the Weed Park to Wildcat Den Trail project and authorizing final payment. City Council took action on October 20, 2011 to accept the completed work and authorized final payment for this project. An error was found following that action increasing the final project cost to $453,206.75. It is staff's recommendation the completed work be accepted as amended and final payment be made to the contractor. Here's our motion to adopt the resolution as submitted. So moved, Your Honor. Moved by Jerry. Second. And second by Mark. Discussion. I just would ask, what difference did that make uh, because of the error in the actual cost? Uh, the difference in the city cost or the difference in overall or it's city roughly cost. a two thousand dollar cost twenty five percent of the mobilization wasn't carried over uh, so it's a cost that was in the contract and legitimately to be paid and uh, just was not added in the last pay estimate but it's two thousand dollars yeah yes I'm just curious as to whatever that was thank you John. Mm -hmm. Further questions or comments, Council? Anybody? Jerry? Aye. Mark? Aye. Phil? Aye. Scott? Aye. Osama? Aye. Bob Bynum? Aye. And Diane? Aye. Motion carries 7 0. Presented for City Council's consideration is a request to approve an engineering agreement with Anderson Bogart engineers and surveyors for work at the municipal airport. The agreement is related to the installation of security fencing and camera, parentheses $4,956, and apron drainage improvements <coughs> near the tea hangers for $15,846. The total engineering costs for both projects is $20,802. Is there a motion to approve the request as submitted? So move, Your Honor. Moved by Diane. Second, Your Honor. Second by Phil. Discussion. <coughs> Those in favor say aye. 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 Those nay. <coughs> motion carries 7-0. Presented for City Council's consideration is a request to approve change order number two for the airport lighting project. In September 2011, City Council approved the contract and bond with Kimry Electric in the amount of $325,005.30. Additional work required as part of the project has necessitated the need for change order number two. The change order would increase the contract by $7,360.80 for a total amount of $318,370.10. This is a $6,635.20 less than the original contract amount. Is there a, a motion to approve the request as submitted? So moved, Your Honor. Moved by Scott. Second, Second Your Honor. Second by Osama. Discussion. 
Those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Carry seven zero. Presented for City Council's consideration is a request to approve final payment to general asphalt construction for the asphalt overlay of the parking lots at Sunset Park. In October 2011, City Council approved a contract amount of $64,637 for this work. All items have been completed in accordance with the construction contract. It is staff's recommendation final payment be made to the contractor. Is there a motion to approve the request as submitted? So move, Your Honor. Moved by Bob Bynum. Second. Second. Second, Second by Osama. Discussion. <clears throat> Those in favor say aye. 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 Who was nay? Motion carries seven zero. Presented for a city council's consideration is a request to approve a change order number one for the Clark House boiler replacement project. In October 2011, the city entered into a contract with Boucher Plumbing and Heating in the amount of $29,600 for the removal and replacement of boilers at the Clark House. The project engineer is recommending the replacement of one of the six boilers not identified for replacement, with one of the functional boilers being replaced. The cost is $1,238. The new contract amount will be $30,838. Is there a motion to approve the request as submitted? So moved. Moved by Mark. Second. Oh. Second by Scott. Discussion. Those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries 7-0. Presented for City Council's consideration is a request to approve an agreement with the IDOT for an earmark funded project. MRT Musser Park to Wiggins Road Trail. The proposed trail will begin at Hershey <coughs> Avenue and terminate at 41st Street. The estimated cost of the project is $922,244 with financing from the earmarked funds totaling $510,000 and a local match of $412,244. Is there a motion to approve the request as submitted? So move, Your Honor. Moved by Phil. Second. Yeah. Second by Diane. Discussion? Your Honor, when, yes. when do we propose that this uh, uh, trail will, will get started? I, I think the critical question is uh, when fund or answer is when funding is available. It's the intent that the additional funding be outside funding, not city funding. Uh, uh, the city has dedicated fifty thousand dollars in engineering costs for the project uh, uh, that is to be uh, included in debt service. But beyond that, the intent is to have outside funding fund the project. I don't know if you can, if Randy, if you've got a timeline or beyond that. <clears throat> One of the requirements um, in this agreement is uh, that within 30 days of tonight, if it's approved, that we have to submit a project schedule. Uh, Greg is right in, in generally. What will happen is that um, over the winter, uh, John and I uh, and the trail team will work on the specifics of this project, the exact route, the overall cost. We will know, I would say, by this spring, uh, just what that is going to be. With that, we will uh, then have to go out and try to find the funding for this. The, if we're not able to secure, secure that funding, then there's no commitment on part of the city. The money then goes back to um, the federal government and gets reallocated to another project someplace else. Um, what I would like to say to you is that the funding is my problem and not yours. And so I have to come up with 
and I won't do this alone, obviously, and we can thank the members of the trail committee uh, that already came up with $510,000 in an earmark. Uh, we have a substantial ways to go yet to find the rest of the money, but there are ways to do it. And I think that uh, this is something that um, is worthy of the effort. And so I would uh, probably be in a better position to answer the timetable for this, Bob, say this spring. And that's spring. when I'll know a lot more about just where our money is with it. Well, the tone of your voice sounds like you're very confident that that, that goal can be achieved. And, uh, we, we appreciate your time and effort. I am confident. I think that's uh, doable and um, mm -hmm. um, that uh, it's not a half empty glass at all. It's half full. We just need <laughs> to find the other much. half. So, so Randy, <laughs> Randy, it, the earmark dollars, what's the time frame on that? It's two years. To give it away. Well. Or be, before it, we give it back, I should in say. Two years. <laughs> we have to. Two year, the agreement says two years, and they'll allow extensions if there's good reason for that. Okay. This money has been earmarked, actually, um, since probably about 2004 uh, in that neighborhood. And because of the problems in trying to find a route, um, we have not been able to lock in this money. And in all honesty, uh, there was genuine concern on many uh, including me, that uh, the federal government is looking for projects, if they're not underway, to take that money back. And so we wanted to lock this money in, and that's why we submitted the concept statement to DOT for the project as, as defined, and this is the next step in locking that 510000 bucks in. Is this the one that was, there was discussion about running it down parallel to Stewart Road? It, it was, this was, originally we were going to run it down the top of the levee, the uh, down to Wathens Road, yeah. <clears throat> well, Anyone have else, Council? Yeah, I have a question. Oh, Jerry. Why couldn't it have been extended from Musser Park on the levee on down further? Uh, but the, there are problems, complications with security uh, for the industries that are on the, uh, next to the river, and um, legitimate reasons that, uh, uh, they presented to us, and for that reason, we have not been able to continue going that way. Um, looked at other routes, perhaps going down Stewart Road with us, building shoulders or separate uh, areas. Uh, county is not quite ready to buy into that. Uh, looked at other routes, going down um, Power and Water's uh, utility lines, uh, down to Fruitland, and uh, that had um, issues with, with it also. So this route still accomplishes the title. It will get cyclists, pedestrians from uh, Musser Park to Wiggins Road. We just do it in a roundabout way. Randy does it there. The Randy, the proposed now proposed route take, still take advantage of some existing easements. I'm trying to remember. It's, it's been a while on this one. The the. The route is still um, kind of a work in progress. I mean, I, I would tell you that in general, it would parallel Hauser Street from Hershey down to Grandview. Um, looking at some options with that to make it more of a trail instead of just a glorified sidewalk. Uh, but we would cross Grandview, uh, my preference, at the intersection of Hauser and Sampson. Um, use DOT right-of-way, uh, basically, to get up to about where the Elms uh, is located. And at that point, we can get on a uh, force main sewer line, uh, and which we have the easement on, extend it down that way. Power and Water has already agreed to let us go through their well field with this. And um, there is one other property owner that uh, John has talked to that we uh, would need their approval for an easement, and they seem to be willing to do that. Okay. Thanks. Well, this route, Go ahead. Does, it, does it make it a longer distance rather than if it had been the levee? Yes, this, <clears throat> this, this will make it longer, yes. Quite a bit. Yeah, I don't know, how, quite a bit. I, mean, I guess I hadn't measured, but it, 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 this will make it longer. Which makes it more expensive, of course. Too. Makes it more expensive in one way, but actually from a construction point of view, um, it's, 
it might not be as expensive. Um, I've been informed by the engineering staff that, uh, particularly with the island area where you have a sand base and it drains well, you don't have to excavate a lot and put base down. And so it's possible to put uh, the uh, hard surface just on top of the existing um, soil. And that saves a lot of money, quite frankly. I know that past experience going down the levee when we did the one out here, <clears throat> that was a feat. And we had to actually wait until the winter and the levee was frozen to be able to get equipment up on top of it to put material down for a base before the asphalt um, company could come in and lay the trail down. So I think that there might be trade-offs, but this, this could be, I won't say cheaper, but I don't think it's going to cost any more. Hope not. Uh, just one other comment. I think you know that I'm in favor of the trails and have used some of the trails, but I'm glad you're emphasizing the fact that the city is not going to be indebted uh, in this project. We know that we have several projects in mind in the next two or three years that are going to cost millions of dollars, like two roadways. <coughs> uh, so I hope that you're able to secure other sources. I, I'm pretty sure you will, Randy, uh, to make this a, a fact. And we may have to take it out of the Cedar Street project, Jerry. <laughs> I was waiting for you to say that. <laughs> Wrong. No, we, uh, uh, I think it is fair to say that the city council uh, passed and current have always been very supportive of trails but there's always a concern about the match that we have to put up because limited resources and other capital projects that uh, we've committed to so Could, just a quick question about cedar street since you brought it up Jeez. isn't the current um, project about finished <coughs> are they, pardon me are they about wrapping it up yet Nah, they have till the end of december to get that wrapped up that portion it'll, it'll take <coughs> that long probably yeah it'll probably take that long okay well i think the public's been patient and oh, I hope so because when they start on Cedar Street they're gonna to have to be really patient so. but, you know, it's, it's worked well people have been patient and cooperative roughly speaking how long is the trail going how many miles 3.37 miles okay thank you welcome council is there anyone else I want to get this back over I, for yeah a minute. yes Doug. I will just comment the fact that we had the uh, blue zone initiatives meeting this evening <laughs> and it was any indication our, of our community's interest in trails and walking trails and bicycling trails at the initiatives meeting this evening. The biggest group was over there with that initiative is the trails and walking paths and so forth. And so, and when we had just recently the ribbon cutting out at the, at the, my end of town where I live, there was the most people has ever showed up that, at any of those events. So way to go and I'm really glad to see this continue on and that okay. you've continued to pursue to find an accomplished trail. Thank you. You're welcome. Is there anyone else that wishes to speak with Randy? Council? Okay, thanks very much, Randy. Much appreciated. No further discussion, Council? Those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries 7-0. <laughs> Presented for City Council's consideration is a request to approve change orders for the Cedar Street Culvert Extensions Project. Change order number one involves the stabilization of the south wing wall footing at a cost of $5,225. Change order number two involves the placement of steel dowels between the existing concrete box culvert and the new concrete culvert extension at a cost of $2,865.50. These two change orders bring the contract amount to $552,742.90. Is there a motion to approve the request as submitted? So moved, Your Honor. Voted by Jerry? Second, Your Honor. Second by Bob Bynum. Discussion? Those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries 7-0. It, it is time for, did we have something else? I it is time for council comments. 
We'll start with Mark. Thank you, Mayor. Um, <coughs> well, we're coming into the holiday season. That means we have some events coming up. Hmm. And so I just want to remind everybody that the Muscatine Art Center is having their Festival of Wreaths this Saturday evening. Uh, I believe tickets are $25. It's a fun event to attend. Uh, some very beautiful displays that you can either just go and see or actually bid on in their auction. Um, we also have the holiday stroll coming up Friday, <coughs> December 2nd. So be sure to go downtown and check out all the displays and performances that evening. And that's all I have, Mayor. Thank you, Mark. Phil? Nothing at this time, Your Honor. Scott? Uh, yes, uh, we've had a kind of a recent rash of burglaries here in Muscatine, and I, I happened to talk to Chief Talkington, and he kind of related to me the importance of citizen in input mm -hmm. in solving not only the, maybe the case or cases in front of us, but any case. In fact, he pointed out that just last week uh, uh, an attempted car theft was, was thwarted by citizen input. So uh, the police department does a good job, but they can always use citizen if, they, if anybody Absolutely. sees anything unusual or suspicious, just call the police department, and they'll take it from there. If you think it's something a little different, you might just just call right. our police department, let them figure out whether or not it's important. Right. So you are so right. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. Right. Osama. I have nothing tonight. Thank you. Bob Bynum. Nothing tonight, okay. Your Honor. Diane. Nothing. Thank you, Mayor. Matt and Jerry. I just wanted to wish everyone a very happy Thanksgiving and make sure that the only thing that's stuffed is the turkey. Oh. Okay. Greg? Uh, just one quick item tonight, Your Honor. Departments are in possession of their budget instructions. They're working on budgets. Those staff meetings, uh, budget meetings will begin December 13th, I believe. But uh, I just wanted to point out some good news that we finally got on budgets. Uh, and the pension board, 411 pension board, adjusted their actuarial methods, and we'll see about an $80,000 plus reduction in, in our cost, uh, expected cost uh, for this next fiscal year. So it's kind of nice to get some good news related to budgets on, the, on occasion. So. Okay, very good. Ms. Fram. Nothing, Your Honor. I have nothing. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Council is adjourned. What were you going to say? I figured you'd vote.